good morning guys we are now in Krabi we are currently staying in Ao Nang today we haven't got anything planned anything booked we're just gonna go down to some beaches have a little wander around we're gonna try and book James Bond Island for tomorrow and um, so very excited about that and yeah we're just gonna kind of have a look around see what tours there is that we can do go on the beaches maybe grab some food I do need to get some more cash out today because all my cash is gone we have been spending money like it's Monopoly money and it ain't Monopoly money, it's our own money. So we do need to reel it back a little bit on the spending, but we are enjoying ourselves, so that's all that matters really. We have much to update you on. We did take our laundry to be washed yesterday, so we do need to pick that up this evening. We've come for some breakfast food at the coffee club. I got myself a little vanilla cream frappe. And have you got a hot latte? Is it hot? Oh, yeah. Touch it. Ooh, touch it. It's in glass. How are you going to pick that up? The last one, the last one. Ah, uh, yeah. It's True. still But that. it's still going through. Ooh. The food has arrived. I got avocado with eggs on toast. And then I did get some mashed potatoes as well. And then now we got a breakfast with a beans warm. Kind of. <laughs> There's one thing we've noticed here is they never warm the beans. Excited. <laughs> wow. Have you got blueberry and passion fruit rolled ice cream for dessert? My dessert is my can of Schweppes. By the way, guys, if you ever come to Thailand, this is the best drink ever. I cannot stop drinking these. How's your ice cream? Banging. Banging. Going yeah, go on. Good morning, everyone. So today we're doing James Bond Island. We booked an excursion with literally just like one of the local tourist centers. And we're doing James Bond Island and a few other islands. We get lunch included. We also decided to do the canoeing tour as well. And I think we paid 1,400 baht. In the leaflet, it's advertised as like 2,600. And we're getting picked up in about 10 minutes. It's currently 20 past eight. Pick up times between 8.30 and 8.45. So we obviously got to be downstairs at 8.30 just in case they do come then. Very excited. I am very tired, however. I feel like these early mornings are just still not for me. I really struggle getting up early but it's kind of exciting when you do have something fun planned. So I'm sure the rest of the day will run very smoothly. The only thing I am worried about by doing this trip is I have come on my period and on the leaflet it says not to do it, obviously if you've got the shits, um, which tells me there isn't that many toilets, which also sends off red alerts in my head because us being girls, we obviously have to change and if there's very limited spaces where I can do that I don't really know what I'm gonna do so I'm just praying that there is toilets on at least a few of the stops because then I should be fine but yeah sorry if that's a bit TMI for some people but it's just something to know if you are a girl and you are coming one thing I will know please bring your own tissues because a lot of public toilets 
never have like toilet paper or anything like that and obviously on your period you're gonna need tissues <laughs> um so i have packed my own tissues this time because i have made that mistake before where i've forgotten to take tissues with me and there's just been nothing there luckily it wasn't on my period anyway we get picked up in 10 minutes i'm gonna stop rambling hopefully you guys enjoy this part of the vlog i feel like i've really have been struggling with talking before we're doing things i think it's because we've been getting up so early i've just been right straight into the filming and not talking and then i've realized as well that after i'm not talking about it but i think that's because obviously with me and harvey just being the two of us we're just sort of talking about it together and not talking about it to the vlog so i need to get better at that James Bond Island and we've showered, washed our hair and I honestly feel so nice and clean. Well actually that is a lie. I did feel really nice and clean until I smothered myself in mosquito spray because I keep getting bitten and I'm fed up of it now. I'm actually mm. dressed, straight out of lost property <laughs> because I do not want to get attacked by any more mosquitoes. I've had enough of it and yesterday, I think it was yesterday or maybe the day before, I applied so much Tiger Balm, I even put it on my neck to try and stop some of the mosquitoes because somewhere I read that they don't like the smell of eucalyptus and stuff like that and obviously Tiger Balm has that in it. So I smothered myself in Tiger Balm and I now have a rash on my face. My skin was so clear, I don't even know if you're going to be able to see it because of the camera, but now it's not because I have this rash all up my neck, onto my cheeks, on both sides, and I'm just really not thriving. So I'm doing what I can to prevent any mosquitoes from attacking me any further without me dying from the heat, because it is obviously really warm here. I was gonna wear a shirt, but I would actually die, I think, from heat, so this is, as good as we're gonna get. Mm -hmm. I am covered <laughs> everywhere in the hopes that I don't get bitten again. 
because this one on my bum is really big and it's kind of concerning me and all my other ones have like scabbed but not like scabbed like a normal scab it's like a wet scab so i am keeping an eye on them because if they don't seem to get any better i am gonna have to go to the pharmacy because i'm worrying myself i feel like i have a little bit of health anxiety at the minute and i'm googling everything and i mean i know you shouldn't google everything because it will literally tell you that you're dying but we're gonna go to the night market tonight and go get some food we did have free food on the james bond island tour today so that was quite nice actually apart from the rice for some reason the rice which i picked up was just covered in salt i don't know why it was covered in salt but just the one part that i specifically picked up was just covered in salt so i ended up having to get some extra rice because i obviously couldn't eat it it was literally every single time i had a mouthful just like a mouthful of salt it was unbearable um but other than that the food was really nice there there was also quite a lot of toilets throughout the day so i was okay and we also wore swimwear thinking that we would get in the sea or like in the water at some point and we didn't i mean i did take a few pictures on james bond island in the water but that was like up to my knees so didn't need to wear swimwear so i was uncomfortable all day in swimwear for no reason but yeah other than that it was nice we did say though it was a little bit underwhelming compared to maya bay i don't know if it was because of the weather like the skies weren't as clear and as blue as what they were when we went to maya bay or if it's just because the place in general isn't as nice as what Maya Bay is. But if I would recommend anything, I would do them the opposite way around so that you're not underwhelmed. Because I feel like if we'd have done James Bond Island first, we would have appreciated its beauty a little bit more. But because we went to Maya Bay first, we obviously had it to compare to. So we did feel like Maya Bay was a lot nicer. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. We're going to go for some food and I'll show you guys what we get. We are fancying another corn dog tonight. We literally had one of these. Was it yesterday? It was yesterday. But they are just so good. I love me a Korean corn dog. And then we've also decided to try these little potato twists. Because you keep seeing everyone with them. And we just thought, why not? 